Louise, I said leopard print. Well, I gotta do cow print for the mommy milkers, come on. Okay, okay, I'll give you that. At least you're wearing animal print. We're both animals. Yes, yeah, so that In means. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that means we're ready for odds and ends, right? Yep, exactly. Here we go. <laughs> okay, get ready for this one, gamer girl. <gasps> Two LAPD officers were fired for skipping a robbery call to play Pokemon Go. I kind of get it. What? <laughs> <laughs> if I had a Mewtwo on the way, like I was on the way to Naked News in my car, and they said, Hey, there's a Mewtwo nearby. Oh you know I'd be collecting that Mewtwo. Is there a game you're that obsessed with though? Like is there w one game that you would drop anything for? Overwatch. Yeah. I'm calling in sick. I got the COVID. I got the COVID-19. <laughs> but if I were an essential service worker, absolutely not. I don't think so. I would be thinking of the greater good here. That was my first reaction. I mean, the cops are who we call when we need help. And if we can't yeah. rely on them, we're in trouble. That's why I said to an extent. I understand apparently it was a Snorlax. Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. <laughs> a Snorlax is a very, very good Pokemon. Yeah, so what what happened was the cops were on patrol and they got a radio call to the robbery. They claimed they didn't hear it, which, oh. let's be honest, their in-car video revealed they were actually close by, lied about their location, and drove around hunting Pokemon. Yes, it's a rare Pokemon, but you still gotta take responsibility for your actions. You're an adult. I love how you keep putting that in there. Like, yeah. you keep kind of sticking up for yeah, the game yeah, yeah. and the gamers out there. Well, they were fired. They appealed the decision, but the appeal was denied. Gotta catch them all! Pokemon! Straight from your nightmares, a man who's been turning himself into a black alien cut off his fingers to make his hand into a claw. I kind of think it's cool. I kind of don't see this as any crazier than any other uh, cosmetic procedure, because that's what it is. It's yeah. a cosmetic procedure. This is permanent. Oh yeah, this no. This is how he looks. <laughs> I mean, to each his own. I personally would not want to look like that, but you know, if this is how this person wants to look, I would hire him to be my boyfriend for a day. Oh, okay. You yeah, don't include that. That's probably really offensive. <laughs> The French man has already tattooed almost all his body, removed parts of his nose and lip, put implants under his skin, and split his tongue. He's now <coughs> apparently removed a pinky and ring finger, making his left hand look more like a claw. And he yeah. has really nice nails. So this is the kicker though. He says he's only 34% of the way to his goal of becoming an alien. If this is 34%, <laughs> yeah. I wanna see 35%. Let, we'll keep everybody updated yeah. whenever there's a new news release on his procedures. It, it'll be breaking news, it'll actually be on bulletins. I will be reporting it. Okay. It will take me only 70 takes. Breaking news, he's reached 35%. So Walmart had to pull a dancing cactus toy that sang about using cocaine. I think it's kind of funny, <laughs> but like I understand why parents would be pissed off. On the other hand, you think about songs like Ring Around the Rosie. That's yeah. about Black Death. So is it really that bad? We can have some songs about coke. That's, a f that's okay. So the toy for toddlers sang songs in several languages. The song was, in Polish, was a rap with lyrics like, the only thing in my head is five grams of cocaine, and oh fuck, I think I'll die. So Walmart blamed a third party seller and removed the toy from their marketplace. So the rapper who wrote the song plans to sue the manufacturer. So I guess they used his song without asking him. They should come out with a toy with my song on it. We all need a little time to relax, right? Stressed out, South Koreans are paying money to sit and do nothing. Honestly, I really think that people don't spend enough time doing nothing. I think I doing nothing is an actual activity. It's tough to sit and do absolutely nothing. Even when I think I'm doing nothing, well, I'm really not. I'm, I'm watching a movie or I'm like scrolling on Instagram. I need 
to be doing something constantly. Yeah. Okay, when you go to bed at night, is there like nothing in your brain, or what? What do you think? What do you think about? That's your mind is buzzing, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I thought about last night? I was like, I'm gonna purchase a Kumon Math Center. <laughs> I was like, I just gotta save up. Like it was between a subway and a Kumon Math Center, oh, but I was okay. like, Kumon, you know, you're helping tutor like the community. And then in the morning, I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you need to visit this place and yeah. clear your mind. So cafes are offering quiet spaces where people can just sit and stare silently. But I would still be thinking about my Kumon Math Center. <laughs> Over 70% of South Koreans describe themselves as stressed. So let's all just relax. Mm, Kumon Math. Oh. That'll do it for this week's Odds and Ends. But you know you don't want your time with us to end, and it doesn't have to. Just like this video and subscribe to our channel for more. We'll let you know every time we share something, so we'll see you again soon. Bye! Uh -huh.